Hi guys, Dan here from VHIX411. Today I will show you the process of how programming a Mercedes ECU with a Motorola HC11 processor is done. You can do it yourself if you have a programmer uh, and some basic skills of soldering and connecting and uh, reading and writing. Otherwise, if you need the service done, you can actually click the link below. We can do that for you. Or at the end of the video, there will be a link to a website that can get it done for you. Alright, common problem on these is these ECUs tend to get wet where the connector are and they go bad. In this case, not only the ECU got water, but customer attempted to do whatever that is I don't know so what we did is this is the processor we're gonna be reading the original ECU information and in order to do that you will need to lift one pin up and I will show you so I already read this guy right here to save us some time I will show you here's another new donor unit make sure that part numbers are exactly identical before doing the service of so two computers original and a new one same part number then you can do the service now this was the cover on the ECU this is the only cover I remove I am not removing the back cover where the numbers are as you can see we got that Motorola processor there. We'll get my solder iron. Heat up the pin number. It's the green pin right here. I'll heat this guy up on the very bottom. Very careful that way you don't damage the board. And then I will slowly lift my pin. That way it's not touching the board and didn't damage anything so now that I lifted my pin if you can see that that guy's lifted not touching the board I will be connecting according to my diagram in this case this is the way I'm gonna be connecting my programmer pins so I'll go ahead and follow the instructions on there. My red, one, two, three, four, five, six is my red. Yellow, according to the diagram, is here. My green is the one that I just lifted. And by the way, I am using the Car Probe Motorola reader. Number four, my orange is going to be here, and my brown, the ground connector. So, let me this is my orange. is my blue all right double check make sure all the connectors are connected we'll go back to my programmer I will choose HC11 I will choose 11E94E28B I'm going to make sure read and verify why I chose that one is because this processor has the numbers here and it says 4E 
1.28B, so this is the mass number. All right, now that I connected it, got my programmer set up for the same processor that I'm working with, I'll push read, and you can see it's reading. Now, if you don't lift this pin, the green pin, the corner pin right here, it will not read. It will just give you read, 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 and they're just going to kick you out. So you will need to lift it for reading and writing, and when you're done, you got to solder it back in there. As you can see, I read the file. I will save this file as the part number that we have on there. Let's see, where is the part number? It's right here. It's A is an apple dash zero two six and I will save it as my new one. This is the original file I read before and this is the new file from a new computer. So I read the new file I will save it and then I will load up the original file that I read earlier from a bad ECU. As you can see that's the original file. I'll push open it up and obviously the stuff changes which is the AMO information, all that uh, information that was on the original one, key information, security information, all that stuff. Now I will write it. And this guy will write all the information from the original ECU. So it's writing. It's going to verify and make sure it wrote good. All right, verify successful. So what I'll do is just disconnect these. Don't need them anymore. my contacts and I will solder this guy back in there so I'll bend this tip a little and just slide it in there this is where you gotta be really really careful not to damage the board like I said if you don't have the programmer or a little basic soldering skills you can ship it out we can do it carmenauto.com otherwise I got that connected back on there has a good contact with the board now and this ECU is done the cone service is done common problem like you've seen water damage damages the board more likely damages the pin these pins right here shorts it out and then you have a bad computer cloning it like I said again a lot of shops dealer will send you packing because they can't program a used computer so you will have to open it up read it with the read the processor directly and then you can get this job done. So if you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.